Low-carb diets have become increasingly popular in recent years as a way to lose weight and improve overall health. The concept of a low-carb diet is simple. Reduce the intake of carbohydrates while increasing the consumption of protein and healthy fats. The idea behind it is that by reducing carbohydrates, the body will burn more fat for fuel, leading to weight loss. But what is the truth about low-carb diets? Are they really effective? To answer these questions, it's important to first understand what carbohydrates are and how they affect the body. Hello and welcome to the Healthy Dad YouTube channel. In today's video, we will tell you about low-carb diets. Let's get started. What is a low-carb diet? Carbohydrates are one of the three macronutrients that make up our diet, alongside protein and fat. They are found in a wide range of foods including grains, fruits, vegetables, and dairy products. When we eat carbohydrates, our body breaks them down into glucose, which is then used for energy. Any glucose that is not immediately used is stored in the liver and muscles as glycogen. The problem with a high-carbohydrate diet is that excess glucose is stored as fat in the body. This is because the body can only store a limited amount of glycogen, so any excess glucose is converted to fat for long-term storage. This is where low-carb diets come in. By reducing carbohydrate intake, the body is forced to burn fat for fuel instead of relying on glucose. 1. One of the main benefits of a low-carb diet is weight loss. When the body is burning fat for fuel, it's easier to create a calorie deficit and lose weight. In addition, Low-carb diets have been shown to be effective at reducing abdominal fat, which is the most dangerous type of fat and has been linked to a range of health problems, including heart disease and type 2 diabetes. 2. Another benefit of a low-carb diet is that it can help to stabilize blood sugar levels. When we eat carbohydrates, they are quickly broken down into glucose, causing a spike in blood sugar levels. This can lead to a range of health problems, including insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. By reducing carbohydrate intake, blood sugar levels can be stabilized, reducing the risk of these conditions. 3. Low-carb diets have also been shown to be effective at reducing appetite. When we eat carbohydrates, they are quickly broken down into glucose, causing a spike in blood sugar levels. This can lead to a rapid rise in insulin levels, which can cause hunger and cravings. By reducing carbohydrate intake, blood sugar levels can be stabilized, reducing hunger and cravings. 4. Despite these benefits, there are some potential drawbacks to a low-carb diet. One of the main concerns is that it can be difficult to stick to. Carbohydrates are a major source of energy for the body, and reducing intake can leave people feeling tired and lethargic. In addition, low-carb diets can be restrictive and may limit the variety of foods that people can eat. This can make it difficult to stick to the diet in the long term. 5. Another concern with low-carb diets is that they may lead to nutrient deficiencies. Carbohydrates are an important source of fiber, which is essential for digestive health. By reducing carbohydrate intake, people may not be getting enough fiber in their diet, which can lead to digestive problems. In addition, low-carb diets may be low in certain vitamins and minerals, such as vitamin C and potassium. 6. Despite these concerns, there is a growing body of evidence to suggest that low-carb diets can be effective for weight loss and overall health. In fact, a number of studies have found that low-carb diets can be just as effective as low-fat diets for weight loss, and may even be more effective in some cases. A study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that a low-carb diet was more effective at reducing the risk of heart disease than a low-fat diet. The study followed 307 individuals who were randomly assigned to either a low-carb or a low-fat diet for one year. The results showed that those on the low-carb diet had a greater reduction in blood pressure and triglycerides, both of which are risk factors for heart disease. So, are low-carb diets effective? The answer is yes, they can be. However, it's important to note that not all low-carb diets are created equal. Some low-carb diets may be too restrictive and limit the intake of important nutrients. It's important to follow a balanced diet that includes a variety of healthy foods including fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. It's important to work with a healthcare professional when starting a low-carb diet. They can help to determine the appropriate level of carbohydrate intake based on individual needs and can monitor for any potential nutrient deficiencies. Low-carb diets can be effective for weight loss and overall health when followed appropriately. However, it's important to work with a healthcare professional and follow a balanced diet that includes a variety of healthy foods. By adopting a holistic approach to health, individuals can achieve their health goals and live their best life. That's all for today. 
See you soon in the next video. Goodbye.